Hello everyone, I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer, and in this video I'm going to be telling you guys uh, what I think about the concept of should you get good at one operator, you know, should I just exclusively play Thermite as much as I can, or Ace, or should I get good at all of the operators and, you know, basically be a giant flex. And for those of you who want the short answer, I think, you know, from my experience, that you should learn all the operators, right? You should be the most bestest flex player ever. You should be able to put on any role and you, you shouldn't be able to top perform on every role because that's impossible, but you should be able to anchor, roam, lurk, entry frag, flex, soft support, hard support, secondary entry, do everything, right? With every operator, right? Let me explain why. So I've been playing a lot of solo queue recently. And when you play solo queue, one of the keys to winning in solo queue or playing with randoms is being able to flex and play whatever operator you want, right? And what I've noticed from playing all of the operators is, let's just take, for instance, we'll start with Buck, Buck and Sledge. That's kind of, Buck's been my go-to recently because I'm usually just, I understand the vertical play and I trust myself to open the vertical angles that I wanna use, right? So I'm playing Buck. And not only am I opening vertical angles, but I'm getting into vertical gunfights. That means that experience in vertical gunfights, I noticed, has upped my confidence in vertical gunfights. So when I play any other operator, I now feel more confident if I'm defending and they're breaking the ceiling and they're breaking the floor. I feel like I can fight back, right? Hard breach. I've been droning. I still have all of these droning skills, so if I'm playing entry frag and my hard breach or no one drones for me and I have to drone for myself because of whatever situation, my drone's not gonna get shot right off the bat. I actually can watch my angles. I can set up flank drones and tell my teammates, hey, I need you to watch this drone. IGL, I try that in solo queue every once in a while. I have the IGL skills. So I understand how to communicate with my teammates when I'm a hard breacher and I need a wall up and say, hey, I need help. Can anyone help me with this? And vice versa. Then if someone's IGLing and they're trying to get a message across, I understand how much stress they're going through and I'm able to communicate back to them effectively. So it all ties together to where, you know that thing where one of the things that you notice when you play Siege is you begin to, as soon as you hear a buck shotgun, you, you expect vertical play. As soon as you hear a sledgehammer go off, a thermite charge, an ash charge, you know what to expect. And it's kind of like level two of knowing what to expect. You can handle every situation because you understand every situation. Uh, another example is if you watch a lot of EU Pro League and you watch Navi play, they have a player named Joe. He's kind of becoming, he's like the new, the new popular uh, European rookie. And what Joe does is he spawn peaks a lot of rounds. He goes for spawn peaks and he wins the spawn peaks. And if you watch him on attack, he is prepared for every single spawn peak you can think of. And thus, that's one of his skills is you can't spawn peak Joe because he's ready for you. He knows where the spawn peaks are. He knows how to get out of those angles. Take that concept and apply it to every single operator, right? If I am, if one of the things that uh, a lot of players who are support players in lower ranks, what they get fucked over by is roamers. They're like, oh, why is this roamer here? He's behind me. Why is it, what is he doing behind me? Right? And you get frustrated, right? Why is the roamer over here? That's such a stupid spot. And I died because he's playing like a monkey, right? Well, if you actually begin to roam yourself and you learn roaming, all of a sudden, it makes sense why, you know, one month ago, you died to all these monkey plays. It's because this guy's actually roaming. He's using his intel and he understands where you are and where to counter you. You get prepared for it. So then when you go back to that situation, you understand how to be prepared for all those monkey plays. You, you know all those angles. You know where he's coming from. And all of a sudden, we've all had the situation happen before. We have a gut feeling, right? You're walking down a hallway. You have a gut feeling that someone's coming up behind you. So all of a sudden, you turn around. You get ready. Five seconds later, someone comes walking around the hallway, and you pop them because you just know. You have a gut feeling. You're like, if I was a roamer, I would do this. So that is my argument to constantly be looking to play other operators, to learn other operators. Doesn't matter how hard it is, right? Monty. No one, not a lot of people know how to play Monty. If you play Monty, then you understand the mindset of how a Monty player plays and you know how to counter them easier, right? Very simple. Same with Blitz. 
Same with even Finca mains, man. If you ever watch uh, North uh, North Pacific Siege, right? Asia, that's like Japan and South Korea and Thailand. They play like fin- they're Finca mains, man. It's crazy watching them and how they use Finca. It's great. So, guys, I know it was a long video, but that is why I think you should play every single operator and learn how every single operator and every single role plays because it's just going to make you more aware than ever of the things that you're going to encounter when you play Rainbow Six Siege. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you want to support the channel, there's links to the mice that I use in the description below. I'm Pacific the Casual Gamer. I suck just as bad as you do at video games, and I'll see you guys 